Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar 8 Games in 1. Uh, I'm actually continuing the recording because, uh, I don't know, I guess I just felt like in a recording mode. That and I'm trying to do everything except study for physics because I have a physics final later today. So like, and I didn't do so hot on my midterm, but uh, I actually seen the mistakes I made and they were stupid mistakes that, that I made. So I guess now I can... I don't know, redeem myself. And yeah, the final is a lot tougher than the midterm, so... By the way, you may have noticed I stopped like explaining things and I'm just playing around casually the way I usually do as a kid. You might have noticed that like... Uh, I, I have... I am playing a lot better, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still taking hits and stuff, but I'm playing a lot better while I'm not thinking of the game and like, explaining. Oh man, my mother's calling me on my phone. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my ringtone, I mean, like, my phone is pretty quiet, you notice that. I'm gonna go ahead and pause and answer, okay? So, be right back. <clears throat> Sorry about that, people, it was my mom calling me, and, uh, yeah. So, where was I? I actually completely lost my train of thought, because I was talking to my mother about, like, stuff. Oh, yeah, in the, in the remake, you can actually do this and it'll break the ice below you. But I don't need to do that. And here we have Fighter, and... Great, now back to explaining things. Uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh well. Oh, I forgot he does that. Anyway, uh, this stage, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's like four versions of the stage. Spring, Summer, Autumn, and Fall, basically. As to why it's called Floria, don't ask me why. I, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, different abilities can only be found in certain seasons. For example, Cutter can only be found in Summer. You saw how ice was in winter, although I think you can also find ice in um, spring, I'm not sure. I mean, not ice, uh, fighter, I mean. Ice can only be found in winter. Oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, basically you just travel, you, it's, a, it's the exact same stage, done four times. The only difference is that in different seasons, these trees are going to be, I guess, different. As you can see, in, in fall, we're allowed to, go, to come in here, and that's the end of the stage. It's pretty short. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these with a hammer. Yeah, hammer! <laughs> oh, damn, I hit the apple. I mean, I hit the apple with the attack too, that was pretty amazing. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure you saw based off my start screen that this game is actually pretty short. I mean, for the 8th game, the 8th game is in one thing, it's not exactly long. So uh, this recording is probably going to be about like 10 or 15 minutes, I don't know. I wish it was longer though, because I, I, I was talking about pretty good stuff, you know, like why I started all being and that stuff. Oh, and the reason I got so sentimental and I actually wanted to talk about why I started all being is because one of Psychotic Rambo's videos, he's doing the Wind Waker HD right now. And, uh, which, actually now that I think about it, I think this one has a longer title than that. Because he's the, like at first he was like, oh, hi guys and welcome to like the Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. But like, I think this one has a longer title, let's see. Kirby, let's play Kirby Superstar Games in 1. Yeah, I think that has like one or two more words. But that doesn't matter. Up here we have Jet. Oh yeah, anyway, um, I lost track of that. Basically, uh, he made a video called Why I Started All Peeing, and like, he told his version of the story. And it, it turns out, I guess both of us started doing this because of Nintendo Capri Sun. Like, he was our inspiration. <laughs> of course, when it comes to like how good we are, I'm gonna consider him... Not, well, NCS too, but I'm also gonna consider the Rambo guy, or Psychotic Rambo, like a superior. I'm just a noob compared to him. Darn, I barely made I mean, I almost made it. Oh yeah, Jet will pretty much slow you down. I mean, you see how slow this is? Which is funny, because Jet's supposed to be like a really fast ability. Anyway, uh... Oh snap. Uh, switch to something else. Uh, something, anything. What's fast? What's fast? Sure, fire. Because he can do this. Oh, really? See, I, I had trouble with this as a kid, and I'm having trouble with this now. Uh, let's see if I can get a head start with fire. Yes, 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 I made it. Wow, I mean it was like a ton of time to spare. Anyway, we're, I was talking about... Yeah, he made a video called Why I Started LP and like, he integrated it into his Wind Waker HD thing. And, I mean, LP. So I guess I decided to do this with Kirby because... I don't know, that, I, I got really sentimental. Like, just now when it comes with this. And, awkward, I, I know. 
which is the reason why I'm doing this. Anyway, I believe if you stick to the right, it should take you straight to the uh, boss. But we don't want to go to the boss yet. Yeah, you see? Oh, and that's what I meant with Crash being everywhere. You can just get him right there. And... Oh, also, the, uh, the enemies called Scarfies, which are these things right here. Uh, these things right here. Like, you can't swallow them, but if you just copy on them, they'll give you Crash. So that's what I mean with Crash being on every stage. Because every stage has Scarfies. At least I think that's what they're called. And again, so they give you Crash by copying them. And because I got copied in the beginning of the game, watch, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. See what I mean? Crash Kirby. I'm gonna go ahead and use this against the boss. Which is two doors to the right. At first, when I was a little kid, this place seemed like a maze to me. But now it's like, eh, I can do this with my eyes closed. Not really, because there's enemies and everything. Anyway, you may have noticed that these bosses are like, basically bosses from the other Kirby games. I don't know what to call that lazy game design or like, or maybe they just didn't have enough memory in the cartridge for like, bad new bosses or something, I don't know. But basically that's the end of this stage, and the recordings are like, what, 6 minutes? Sorry for getting quiet right there, I just had a quiet moment, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, there's a final stage. Uh, this is the one that you're meant to do last, and well, I'm doing last. The thing about these stages is that you're kind of meant to do them in the order that like the, the, the planets point at the next one. Oh wait, ah, I completely forgot about this. Uh, anyway, yeah, you're, you're meant to do them in like the order that the planets point to like the next planet and stuff. And uh, you, but in reality, you can do it in whatever order. I, mean, that, I just did the order that like, I'm, okay, I can't really say the order I always do it in, because I always see a completely different path each time. I mean, for the most part, I usually get the planet that has hammer and stone. But like after that, uh, but after that, I usually go in like random order. It just happens to be that this is the one I finished last, which is the one that the game intends for you to do last. Oh, another thing you may have noticed is that it's not just the bosses, but also the music that they're taking from the other Kirby games. But again, this, I'm, not, I'm not complaining or anything. I still love this game to death. Uh, please tell me I got it. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Uh, let's just do your this. You're gonna want. Okay, never mind. It's not this one. Uh, the one, the one that has the ninja ability. Oh crap! I just gave out which ability was the last one. I was about to say like, oh, who can get like upper star? Who can guess what ability this is? But I just gave it away. And anyway, that that one's kind of cheating or kind of cheap because as soon as you enter the room, one of the ninjas attacking. So like, it's really hard to like not take a hit. I consider that kind of cheap. Oh, one thing about these uh, trolleys is that if you press Y, you can actually slow down and stop. See, I'm holding Y and I'm slowing down. It's not because of the slope or anything. Whee! Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I took the warp star on the last one, so I'm not gonna take the warp star this time. The, the warp star just takes you to the end of this. But if you take the warp star, you won't be able to get the food, which I don't need, or the one-up, which I don't need. So why am I not taking the warp star and saving you guys time? Whatever. I guess I, I usually take a hit here anyway, so like I guess the food isn't. Actually, no, I take the hit after I get the food, so that makes the food pretty much useless. Anyway, the warp star will basically take you here. I'll take these guys out with me, because why not? And as you can see, I'm doing a lot better with the mid bosses this time than with the first stage. It is because the first stage I was limited in the abilities I could use. I was only limited to like Yo-Yo or Ninja and Copy. And if I tried copying uh, Chef Kawasaki, I would have ended up with Cook Kirby. And that's kind of useless against mid bosses until you defeat them. Anyway, down here, this is what I mean. I always come in holding L or R, but then that always happens. You saw how like there were like those ninjas, those throwing knives like right here, or here and here. That's pretty cheap. So if you're like at the point where like any one shot will kill you, like I, don't, I recommend coming up here getting food before going in there. Which they give you plenty of food. I don't know why. They just I don't know why they give you all that food. Like this part over here isn't exactly hard, and they give you two maximum tomatoes. One right there, and one right here. Which in the remake they. 
change to lives. I mean, one ups, I mean. Actually, no, let's do it. Where's the fire? Fire. There, it's, it, it's a little trick I discovered while fighting this boss. Please tell me get the attack awesome. Uh, you can set yourself on fire. I mean, you saw, like, I think I explained in an earlier video. I'm not sure. But basically, you can shoot fire at yourself, and if like you manage to set yourself on fire, you don't take damage, but it does a lot of damage. See, 160 points. And let's see if I can finish him off. Oh, not close enough. No! Wow. Terrible. Well, he put his guard up anyway, so he was gonna take. Okay, let's, let's just finish him off like this. Wait, where's all the music? I just realized there's no music here. Yeah, there's no music. It's pretty creepy. What the hell's going on here? And I think there was music last time I fought him. Oh, and last time I fought him, there was the slime, the doll, and the uh, and the mage, whatever. Wait, there's no music here. That's creepy. Three greediness points. Two ambition points. Two courage points. Two love points. It's funny that it's funny how those stats don't mean anything. They're just doing it like a RPG-ish type of thing. That was pretty creepy though. There was no music during that boss, and that kind of scared me. Anyway, once you beat all seven stages, you unlock Nova, which is a mirror. Does he look like he's wearing sunglasses right there? I always thought that was pretty cool. I'm bringing back my old Bowser voice for this. I will grant you one wish! Well, I want to control Popstar! Okay, three, two, one, blast off! Wow, it worked! The sun and moon are fighting. Go find Nova! Wait, what? All my plans worked. Popstar is all mine! <laughs> um, I can do anything! I must be going now! <laughs> In the DS remake, this was a lot creepier because like it showed Kirby and like it just made everything go dark and like black and white-ish. Almost like almost like a Kirby was dead thing. I mean until the stars show up to rescue him. But still, like it just looked a lot creepier. It actually gave you like the feeling of Kirby being dead, even though, of course, he wasn't. Which is funny, how he can breathe and like... Oh, by the way, suddenly we're in a 2D side shooter, I mean, side scroller shooter. Yep. This game officially turned... Wait. I forgot the name of that other game. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, the, the rules officially changed. If you press start, it'll just tell you about your new ability. Shooting ability. That's a weird name. Anyway, any button can shoot, and basically you can't touch anything, because even if you touch a wall or if you touch like, anything you touch, you will take damage. And you still have your health bar, so it's not like a one-hit kills you type of thing, which thank goodness. What the hell? That just took out like almost half my life. Anyway, yeah, if you hold the button, it doesn't do anything, so you have to like constantly keep pressing the button. And I think in the DS remake, they made it so that like you can hold the button, and it'll be like... It'll be like one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like when you hold the button, that's gonna be like the pattern of how it shoots in the remake. In this one, though, it's depending on how you push the button, which I am pushing it as fast as I can right now. Okay, now, nah. nah. and we have got to the boss, which I think now you're allowed to touch things. Yeah, you are, except for those moving things. Those moving things will hurt you, but everything else won't. Also, there is one part where I will take a hit. Just a little disclaimer, I will take a hit. Uh, it's nearly impossible to avoid in the Super Nintendo version, but in the DS remake they made it a lot easier to avoid. Uh, you see how this thing starts going backwards? There's no way for you to shoot backwards. So what you have to do is you have to go through these to avoid them. And this is the part where it's impossible to- whoa, I just avoided it. Funny thing about how I talk about like it being impossible to avoid and I just avoid it like a boss. Anyway, uh, I think if you die, you come out with a random ability. 
if you're playing as a helper, the helper will steal your ability and you'll come out as a random ability. Basically, if you lose your ability, you come out as a random one. But since I didn't die and there was no helper, I came back as the ability I started with. Anyway, uh... I have a, I have a copy versus uh, Mark's thing. So I'm thinking of like the most useless ability to use right now, like as a challenge. And I'm gonna go ahead and say... Gold Ball's out, screw it. I'm gonna destroy him. Because I do have a video of me defeating him with copy, which, which like does absolutely well. It does like very little damage to him. Compared to stone, you see like that right there is like 10 hits with copy ability. So yeah, I, I can go balls out because I already have a challenge of me taking him out with nothing. I think there was also this challenge with like bird versus marks, but the guy who did it didn't realize like I forgot the YouTuber's name, it didn't stand out at all or anything. But the guy didn't realize that like bird has like that rush attack that does more damage. So he just kept on using the regular feather, which does hardly anything. Okay, stop stop teleporting, stop teleporting. Thank you. Oh wow. He's gonna do the black hole. Uh, I don't have to turn to stone, all you have to do is stand in the corner. But then I hate it because he always does that. So it's like really hard to hit. Oh wow. You know what? Screw this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, yo yo. Oh yo yo, for now. And they all stayed over there. Uh, what are you gonna do now? Oh. There you go, fight. I'm just like too into this. This is like the most epic music ever. Anyway, uh, you also notice how this is the only. Well, you'll see right now. That scared the crap out of me. I mean, I'm already found this. And now. The credits. Let me carry you for some He's actually needing really sleep ability because it helps him sleep, which means he'll wake up in like a few seconds. And this is the only Kirby game that has credits. Uh, the recording right now is like at like 17 minutes, so I am not sure if I'm gonna like skip this or not or anything. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm probably gonna fast forward it a bit like to make my video 20 minutes long. Wow, I think my commentary went all over the place for this episode. I mean, I just came back from talking about like why I started LPing and then I started talking about why I started talking about why I started LPing. And then I just got back to the game doing my video of commentary. I'm not calmer now, my voice is no longer shaky. But still, that's the not the end of the game actually. Sorry to spoil it so close. I mean, a lot of you guys have probably played this game or the DS remake, so you all know what's coming. After this, you unlock the arena, which is actually a ninth game in this game, so the title is actually really misleading. It's actually nine games in one. But, but anyway, the arena is basically uh, what it sounds like it's an arena where you fight all the bosses with one life. I mean, yeah, they give you like a limited amount of maximum tomatoes, but not even. I don't know, I always try to make it a challenge to like do it without maximum tomatoes and without using stone because with stone you're basically invincible. But yeah, I make it a challenge to like defeat all the bosses without stone and without a maximum tomato. I, I've, I've done that challenge before but that's with plasma. I have a friend who can do it with yo-yo, I have a friend who can do it with bomb, like I have friends that can do it with like basically almost every ability. One ability per friend, or the two. Uh, with me, my weapon of choice would be plasma for that. I mean, again, the rules say no using stone and no. Well, I don't know about the no using helper thing. I mean, the helper is pretty stupid anyway. Like, they don't really do much. Unless, of course, a human is controlling it and the second player happens to be attack. Me and my cousin and me and my sister, like, I would always be Kirby and one of them would always be the helper. And they would always want to be attack because, like, it's basically like a copy Kirby, 
except for the fact that like they can get rid of their ability whenever they want, like change to a new one. So that's like the closest thing they'll be to being Kirby. Uh, hey look, it's Mario. Anyway, wow, the recordings are like 20 minutes. So I guess I won't have to fast forward any of this. Anyway, uh, Tag had, had this like attack, or his only attack actually. Basically like swipes a hand, kind of like attack enemies do. The only difference is that if it hits an object that it doesn't kill, it's just, like, it, it'll disappear. And because the game knows that it disappeared, you're allowed to put a new one almost immediately. And basically, if there's a boss that doesn't have any invincibility frames, you can just keep spamming the Y button and kill in like seconds. But that only works attack though. And unfortunately, they took that out and it looked disturbing. Unfortunately, they took that out in the DS remake. So, uh, basic, so attack. They give him a charge shot in exchange, which honestly I don't like. That's why, like, when I first played the DS remake, I was like excited that they had the helper to hero thing. Cause it's like, yay, helper to hero. Like, I get to finally do the attack thing without be having to be a second player. But then, when, like, he's actually the first he uh, helper that I decided to, like, work with. And I was disappointed when I found out. Actually, my current record in Helper to Heroes is with, uh, with, with Bonkers, which is Hammer. He's, like, the record that I have for Helper to Hero. Anyway, uh, the recording looks like 21 minutes, so that should be the end of the episode. But first, I'm gonna show. Arena. Anyway, I never really showed Samurai Trivia or Megaton Punch. I mean, I, I showed it in a failed recording, but I, I didn't really show it in like anything else. So next episode, we tackle the arena and possibly Samurai Kirby and Megaton Punch. So I'll uh, see you all next episode and wish me luck on my final. See you all later. Bye. Take care.